How do y'all Morgan likes lives? I think it's time to play a little Minecraft. I can only assume I was headed back to the farm to see if we couldn't grab a little bit more wool. <laughs> I I don't know what I was doing when I logged off last night, and uh, I just logged in in the sewer, so I'm guessing. Guessing I was headed this way. It doesn't hurt to run out and check on the wool. I, uh... Yeah, I'm probably out of red is my problem. I was working on the walkway a little bit, and... Yeah, so... Need some more supplies. Always need more supplies. Hmm. Hey, uh... <laughs> been a long day. It's, uh... It's a late one to be recorded. Not the latest ever, but... Usually don't like to start recording this late in the afternoon. Uh, I forgot this weekend was Mother's Day. And so... I, uh... I didn't think about the fact that... I'd be busy the entire afternoon. Um, I don't think dinner even got over till 3.30. Uh, we call it dinner. It's actually lunch, and it started at 1.30. Um, we uh, actually have... What am I doing? I just came out here to get wool. I just ran right past the sheep. Uh, we actually have a birthday and Mother's Day all together, so... Uh, it was a birthday party and Mother's Day. So we're all together, and... Uh, you know, passing out the gifts and whatnot. I, uh, actually, <laughs> my, uh, my niece came over, uh, this week, and she's a big Batman fan. And, uh, I'm a big Batman fan. And so, sometimes, uh, when we get a chance, uh, she comes over and we watch Batman stuff. Because there's a lot of Batman stuff out there. If you like to watch Batman stuff, like cartoons and things like that. And so, uh, she doesn't, uh, I think we talked about this, she doesn't have cable at her house. Uh, and so she didn't get to watch Gotham. Like, they don't even have an antenna, I don't think, for their television. They just watch a lot of Netflix, I guess. And so, uh, she get to watch Gotham, and so I saved it on the DVR so that we could watch it together, and so, uh, she'd come over to, to babysit, and so we were watching Gotham, and apparently while she was over, she, uh, she brought some jewelry she'd received, um, and, uh, she had left it in the chair in the room here, and so... <laughs> Um, I, I was, uh, actually in my bedroom playing some, uh, what was I playing? Call of Duty Ghost. Um, I never played the, uh, Ghost or the Advanced Warfare Call of Duties. In fact, I still haven't played Advanced Warfare. Uh, I don't like multiplayer that well. Uh, I'm, I'm fine with multiplayer in certain instances. I like PvE. I'm not a fan of PvE at all. And, uh... I guess it's not necessarily true. I, I've enjoyed some PvP occasionally, but it's not my... You know, I don't want to constantly be playing PvP. I like PvE. Player versus environment. That's my favorite. And so, um, when I play the Call of Duty games, I usually don't do the multiplayer stuff. I just do single-player campaigns. And uh, so, I don't buy the games because I don't do the multiplayer stuff, but I do buy them as gifts for uh, someone who lives in the house, which I guess gives me an excuse to buy them and have them, but not actually have wasted my money on them since... I don't know. Anyways, he hasn't even opened Call of Duty Ghost or Advanced Warfare, so I opened Call of Duty Ghost uh, here a couple weeks ago, started playing it. Um, anyways, that's a really roundabout away from my story story. Uh, <laughs> I'm enjoying the campaign so far. Uh, if you've ever played it, I'm up to... Um, we're gonna bring down 
Atlas, which is an oil refinery platform, I think. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's what they said it was. And uh, uh, it's pretty good so far. The storyline's okay. Um, I probably would have done it a little differently. Uh, uh, if you've ever played... Is it called Homefront? Um, Homefront. I think it's Homefront. Homefront. Home. There's a there's a shooter with a really short campaign, like four hours, and uh, it's pretty good story. Um, but it made me laugh because it's written by the same guy who wrote Red Dawn. The, like the original Red Dawn, and in the original Red Dawn, you know, the Russians invade and take over, and then a group of kids fight back uh, against the uh, Russians. I think in the updated one, which isn't as good, um, they fight back against the Koreans, maybe? North Koreans? And, um... Alright, I'm out of here. So the uh, uh, home front is kind of like... Red Dawn, but with North Koreans, uh, and uh, but it's really short, and it's like, like I thought it was good. Um, I, I didn't buy it, uh, but I played through it, and uh, I enjoyed it. It just it ended too soon, um, and I would I would have I would think that Call of Duty Ghost would have benefited from a similar storyline since their world, because um, it doesn't take place on, you know, the Call of Duty games are... I don't know about the historical ones, like the World War II ones. Um, you know, like the Big Red one, and I think the Big Red one is a Call of Duty game. Oh, I could be wrong there. Um, and like World at War and those, those all took place during historical events. But, uh, and then you got, like, Modern Warfare is its own, you know, version of Earth. So, Call of Duty Ghost is its own version. Uh, and in that one, um, this group called the Federation's taken over. This is not getting back to my story about my, my niece very quickly, is it? <laughs> uh, but instead of, instead of fighting guerrilla warfare against the invading forces in the United States, we're actually doing missions all over the world. Um... And uh, I think I would have liked it better if it had been... Because th that's the story that they give about the ghosts is that their homeland was invaded and, you know, and how they fought off the attackers. And here I am in Antarctica. Uh, Antarctica is not very close to the United States. Um, just letting you know. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's all right. Anyways, I was in my bedroom playing that with the, the door closed. And... Uh, so I didn't hear her <laughs> come downstairs. And so she come down to have me sign a Mother's Day card and look for her uh look for her necklace box. And so I uh I come out of my bedroom to grab a Mountain Dew out of the refrigerator before I uh went upstairs to see what everybody was doing cuz they I could hear they were there. They were making a bunch of noise. And um I walked in to get the Mountain Dew and um she walks up to me, uh, just startled the crap out of me. Uh, I didn't see her when I first walked in the room, and she's like, here, you need to sign this. Uh, startled me pretty good. I thought that was funny. Um, and then she found her, her necklace, if you <laughs> want to hear the end of that part of the story. But, uh, yeah, so it's uh, Mother's Day, uh, sister's birthday, I guess. Um, I don't guess I know. And, uh, so we were getting all that taken care of. Uh, okay, yeah, I ran out of wool. So it's one, two on the window. I'm not sure I like the way this looks. So don't think this is the whoops, be all, end all of my design here. I I actually think that it's too too uh 
small. Um, I think what I'd like to do is I would like to separate these But then I'd have to separate this as well. So let's do that. And we'll see if I like this better. And then we can do this. down uh, we got my uh, we got my sister a uh, phone for her birthday uh, she said she wanted uh, I don't know what it was but it's uh, an unlocked phone so that she could get whatever whoops whatever thing she wanted she was getting a um fire is that a phone a fire I think that's what she got was a fire Oh, will you stay up there? I'm trying to look at this. I can't look at it from down below. Stop walking off the edge. Uh, okay. Hold on shift so I don't fall off anymore here. So I think I like that better than having them all connected. Uh, and now what I can do is I can add some more design in here. And what I'm thinking is... Um, I think I want to add in some pillars um, but I don't know what I want them to look like uh, let's see what do I got in here clay I don't want it to be clay I don't think I I thinking maybe wood and just give it that I got so much sand on me um, I went and dug up a bunch of sand out in the desert and some sandstone uh, that's podzol that's not helpful really I don't have any other kinds of wood here I don't want birch but I might go with uh, I should have checked inside did I check inside I don't remember I probably thought I didn't have any inside. Why am I going so slow? Oh, because I need to eat. Uh, but so, uh, after... Well, later this afternoon, um, we went to Walmart to get uh, a SIM card for it. Uh, the phone. Whatever kind of phone it was. Because uh, she wanted to get on... I don't know, she doesn't like contracts, so she was getting on one of those no-contract things. Um, we'll have some dark oak wood here as well. What are you? Your planks? All right. You know this isn't bad at all, right here. Let's go. Uh, let's go see which looks better, and then I might have to run out and get some spruce and some oak to see. Which ones I like in here. Uh, so let's see. If we do... Dark Oak. Looks like that. Oh, I do like that. And then the Acacia. Looks like that. Man, I think I'm going to have to go with the Dark Oak. Alright, back out to the farm to chop down some Dark Oak then. One of these days, I'm just going to have all this here, and I'll just be able to build. Um, 
and then <laughs> so so uh uh i i bought my mom uh every every year her favorite author comes out with a book about this time and uh so i got looking online and there was no book and i'm like oh man her author didn't come out with a book this year and so then um, I told her, well, there's not going to be a book for your, for Mother's Day this year. I'll have to find something else for you. And she's like, why? I'm like, well, because your author didn't come out with a book. And so um, after I told her that, uh, they announced that uh, at the end of April, because um, usually it's out by March. And so when I looked in March, there wasn't one. But then they announced... Uh, at the end of April, they were releasing a collection of her short stories. And uh, so I was able to uh, snag that for her. And uh, so, um, and then because I bought that, Amazon's like, hey, are you aware that uh, this other book came out? And uh, it turns out she had released a book in November. And since I didn't, I didn't get it for her for Christmas. I'm like, oh, look at that! I can get her two books. And um, and then and then they announced that she was releasing another book. She doesn't know about this one. Uh, in uh, June, I think. And so her birthday's in June. So I guess she'll be getting a book for her birthday too. Um, we're we're pretty avid readers in this household, so uh, I think. Uh, well, most of us, anyways. Uh, although this last couple of weeks here, I have been struggling to get through the book I'm reading. Not because it's not interesting, just because, I don't know, by the time I hit uh, Betty by time, I am done. I like to read before I go to sleep most nights, but I've been so tired. It's, uh been pretty busy pretty busy i did uh i did talk to some uh <laughs> uh so i'm i got these dress shoes right and they're old and worn out and uh this is, this is a weird segue here but um and so uh it's a lawn mowing season so i was looking for new lawn mowing shoes and uh, i should have bought some dress shoes while i was at it but um Anyways, I don't know what the long mowing shoes had to do with anything. Just ignore that part that I just said. Long mowing shoes have nothing to do with this story. And so uh, my shoes have... They're pretty scuffed. I uh, When I get in my car, I have a tendency to kick the uh, uh, emergency brake, and so the toes are all scuffed. Really bad on the left shoe. Just the left shoe. And so... Oh, man, look at this tree. This tree's huge. And so... Um, I, uh, I had purchased another pair of shoes just like the first one. In fact, when I go to get shoes, I will probably buy the exact same shoe. Uh, they're not the most comfortable shoes in the world, um, but they're dress shoes, so what do you expect? And uh, they're not uncomfortable necessarily, but uh, <laughs> so this is my, my last week of having to wear them for a while because I'm on vacation starting tomorrow. And in fact, I I just finished up the last of my my work um, just before I started recording this. And uh, well, not this. I guess the episode of my other show that I recorded right before I recorded this one. And so um, uh, the uh, my poor shoe this week. Uh, I don't know. I must have tied it too tight and just didn't notice it, but um, I went to put them on uh, Wednesday, I think, and I noticed that the plastic inside the leather that the shoe is made out of is, uh, has like the eye hole that the, the lace is in is still fine. Did I, what did I get here? I got some oak, I got some spruce. Uh, I didn't get my dark oak that I came here for. And, uh, like, the the leather still looks fine to me, but below, like, the eye hole's not stretched out or anything, so I don't 
quite understand what happened. Um, but there's this little white plastic piece hanging out below where the lace is at, uh, at the top of the shoe. And, like, there's a hole ripped in the shoe, but the the eye hole isn't stretched. Like, I can look at it. It looks just like the other side. It's not stretched anywhere. But there's a tear below it, so I don't know if I, I snagged it on something, but... Uh, so I tried to tuck that little plastic piece in this week because I wasn't going to buy new shoes for two days of work. Uh, in fact, my tie got hung on the door, and uh, it kind of got shredded um, uh, not too long ago here. And I... Uh, like the tie itself looks fine um but it had tore the i wear a black tie and so it had tore the black tie and you could see the white whatever that's inside the tie through it and so um i didn't want to buy a new tie for the last two weeks of class uh either and uh you know for our uh our training sessions and so I, I took a magic marker to it. Uh, so I gotta get new dress shoes, a new tie, probably new shirts and new pants while I'm at it as well. I have to buy a whole new wardrobe for next, uh, next training session. Oh, well, that's not for a while, so I can, I can ignore that. Uh, I actually got one more day where I've got to go in yet, um, but I can get by with my scuff shoes and... <laughs> Uh, at least I think I can. Oh, my poor shoes. I just... I, every time I kick that dang emergency brake uh, when I'm getting in. In fact, um, it's pretty bad. I, I go barefoot, uh, you know, most of the time. And so uh, I wear sandals a lot when it's warm out. And so I will kick that stupid thing. I tore my toenail off a couple times before I was with Okay, somewhere in here I had a story about books, and then I got sidetracked badly. Oh, oh, anyways, with the shoes. So, um, Friday, I went in to drop off my mileage for the month, and, uh, <laughs> uh only one guy was in the office, and apparently he'd been the only one there most of the day. Uh, I don't know where everybody else was at, but it was just him, and so he was bored out of his mind because nobody been in there all day, and so he talked to me for an hour. So I'm standing there in these dress shoes for an hour. Uh, oh, my feet hurt so bad the next day from standing in those dress shoes. I don't buy my dress shoes to stand in. I work from a computer, so, you know, uh, I'm not running a marathon in these. Uh, but, uh, I'm sure there was a reason I was going down this shoe story, but I've wandered around so much, I can't remember what the point was. Hmm. I don't know how to relate this back to the birthday parties today. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> it was kind of funny today. Um, we went to, uh, went to Walmart, like I said, to get that... Uh, SIM chip for my uh, for my sister and uh, as we were walking in this other woman walked in in uh, front of us and uh, you know I didn't think nothing about it holy crap dang it uh, you guys are ruining my lawn um and so all we did was went in and went to the electronics section and got the the SIM for her phone. <laughs> and then we came back out and we just, I mean, we literally walked to the back of the store, went over, got a guy to unlock the SIM chip. Uh, it was, you know, locked up and uh, uh, checked out, walked to the front of the store, walked out of the store. And that same woman was walking out of the store, only she bought three bags of groceries while we were in there buying one thing. She must have been running. I. <laughs> it was crazy. I'm like, isn't that the same woman that uh, walked in in front of us? She's like, I think so. I'm like, well, how does she have so much stuff and we've got like nothing? 
Uh, all right. So there's whoops. There's spruce. Spruce and dark oak don't look that different to me. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, I mean, it's a little darker. I actually think I like the spruce better than the dark oak in here. I'm gonna go with that spruce. We're gonna put some spruce in here. All right, and then you can get out of here. Some nice spruce. I might even put um, some gold blocks. Uh, I don't have no spruce wood for this now. Um, but what do you think if I put uh, like a gold block at the top there? I think that might look really nice. I'm going to go see if I got a gold block anywhere. Do I have any gold anywhere? To be honest, I don't use it for anything. Um, I might have at least one, anyways, right? I steal one from my color wall if I need to. I need to get cat. That's what I need. Chase away these creepers. Uh, oh, I might not have a gold block in the color wall either. I don't. Weird. Uh, Alright, there's two gold there. None in there. That's a nugget. That's not helpful. Mm. This is going to be a trip. I'm going to have to run out to somebody else's base and see if they got gold. Oh, that's why I don't have any gold. I'll bet nobody's got any gold. Oh, man, I used it on all those golden apples. I hear a zombie. Where's that zombie, dude? He's really loud. Where is he? Oh man, there's zombies in the sewers. Uh, Call the exterminator. <laughs> er, okay, so I'm the exterminator. I think yeah, that one had a carrot. You don't see that very often. Oop. Um, alright, well, I guess... If I can get out of here, we'll go check the... We'll go check the, um, the mine. I might just have to go do some mining, I guess. Uh, I don't... Really have any gold? Hmm, interesting. Uh, but yeah, it was good Mother's Day. Um, we, uh, I guess we uh, hung out and we had uh, baked potatoes and barbecued chicken. Uh, we get to pick our own meals for our birthdays. So my sister, she doesn't. She's pretty picky about what she eats and I have golden apples everywhere and no gold. How many gold do I have now? Five. Uh, I might have some gold I mined up down below that just needs to be cooked. And uh, so she really likes the baked potatoes. I don't think she even ate the chicken but she might have. I don't know. I didn't pay attention to what people were eating. I uh, just ate my own. And then she got uh, ice cream cake. Um, not... Alright, I got enough to make a... I got enough to make a gold block. A gold block. Um, but it was okay. It was uh, a peanut butter ice cream, vanilla ice cream, and peanut butter cups um, from Dairy Queen. Uh, I don't, I don't like the ice cream they use to make those. Um, is my thing. I, I don't know. It's just uh, the ice cream is like too icy. That's honestly how I feel about it. It's usually really cold and like hard. And I like my 
Okay. That really doesn't make any sense. It's it's really cold. Ice cream's really cold. Did you know that? Uh <laughs> No, it's um like when we took the lid off, it was it was so cold that it looked like the cake was on fire. And that's just too cold for ice cream. I like my ice cream to be a little melty, and ice cream cakes are made out of a different kind of or a different consistency ice cream than the normal ice cream that you eat. And um uh, I think it's a little sweeter than normal ice cream, too. So I'm not a fan, and it seems to be the big kick at my my house lately is to get an ice cream cake for your birthday. I do not. I get the same cake. I've gotten the same cake every year since I was probably less than 10 years old. Uh, and that is a chocolate cake with... Uh, chocolate pudding, whipped cream, powdered sugar, uh, frosting. Um, you, uh, you take chocolate pudding and, um, you put in, I think it's a cup and a half of milk instead of two, no, 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 I think it's two boxes of pudding in, I don't think I've ever made it. I think it's two boxes of pudding in two cups of milk, which means it's one cup per box instead of the two cups that you normally put in. And, uh... Yeah, I think that looks really nice. Yep, and then we'll get one of those in each of the spots. Uh, and then we'll do some uh, plants in front of these pillars. And, uh... Yeah, I think that's looking pretty sweet. Um, I still need to get enough spruce wood to do that one down there, though. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, but, uh, and then you mix in a little bit of p powdered sugar. I don't know how much. And uh, whipped cream, like Cool Whip. And uh, it sounds like it'd be really sweet, but it's it's not as sweet as it sounds. Like, it's not as sweet as normal frosting. Uh, I think the milk in the pudding helps cut that. And, um, I don't know, it's just, it's what I get every time. And it's my favorite. Uh, yeah. But, uh, alright, well, uh, maybe I'll get enough time on here between now and next time to uh, mine up some gold. And uh, be able to finish those off. And then um, we'll probably start work on... i got to figure out what I want to do for the color of the walls. And uh, on the inside here. And then that way we can get the the rest of the walls up here. And get started on this first apartment. So, alright. Click like, your like, subscribe, be sure and catch the next one. And I will talk to you later. <laughs>